Hi everyone, uh, Phil Travis here, uh, History 448, and it is week three. Um, this week we have another quiz. The quiz is on the reading from our service book from chapter six and seven. Um, I also, in the presentation this week, the presentation this week is really on the consolidation of the Soviet Union, 1918 to 1924, and there's a number of topics from the presentation that are in the quiz, so I think the I think the presentation will help you out in preparing for the quiz. Reading for this week is chapter six, seven, and eight. Now the quiz from service, I'm having mercy on you, I'm not going to quiz you on everything. The quiz from service comes particularly from chapter six and seven. Okay. Another item, obviously this week we have our usual graded discussion as always. Um, another item that I want to just mention with you uh, that you will find in this week's modules area um, are, is material relating to our paper. So in this class, we are all writing a major, um, a major, you know, upper level research paper. And um, in this week's modules, you will see all of the directions for that paper. You will also see guidelines for doing a paper proposal. Now, Nothing is due on this until week five. Week five, you will turn in a paper proposal. Okay, I want you to look at the temp template and get an idea uh, of how to do this. I just want you to be thinking about this. This is a, you know, we're still, you know, effectively three weeks out before anything, the paper proposal is actually due. Uh, but I want you to be thinking about this. Uh, we need to be thinking in advance about what our topic is, what kind of topics we'd like to do, so that when the paper, paper proposal uh, becomes due, uh, we kind of have an idea of what, we're, of what we're doing. And of course, the actual paper itself won't be due until the end of the term, so you don't even have to freak about that. Um, but I do, uh, I do want you to be thinking about the paper topic, thinking about uh, the paper proposal, and getting an idea. So, you know, I've put these in the modules for this week. They'll be in the modules for next week, but I really encourage everybody to take a look at the paper prompt, the paper guidelines, and the paper proposal as well. Um, of course, as always, there's a presentation, as I mentioned this week, uh, of my own, so hopefully everybody's watching those. Um, I think it's very informative. Um, but other than that, I think it's about a pretty straightforward week, uh, quiz on service chapter 6 and 7, and uh, uh, in our usual graded discussion forum. This week's factoid is this. Um, the factoid is uh, Leon Trotsky who is sometimes, his last name is sometimes spelled with a Y at the end, and sometimes, as you notice in the service book, it's spelled with an I on the end. Either a spelling is fine, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Leon Trotsky, the head of the Bolshevik army, uh, with the death of Lenin, Lenin had increasingly kind of been pushing Trotsky to hopefully be more influential after his death than Stalin. Uh, Lenin kind of had a falling out with Stalin. He saw Stalin as kind of a brute, um, well, after Stalin, or Lenin's death, of course, Stalin will increasingly construct Soviet society around his central leadership. And in doing that, Stalin will focus on uh, effectively uh, alienating and ultimately exiling uh, Leon Trotsky. Now, Stalin and Trotsky also had a difference, uh, an ideological difference. Um, Stalin was committed to socialism in one country, as he called it. So Stalin was more of, if you will, an isolationist initially, far more concerned with creating the Bolshevik communist experiment within the Soviet Union, whereas Trotsky believed that in order to make it happen, the most important thing was to promote an international world communist revolution. That aside, uh, Trotsky's alienated uh, by the Politburo, uh, the governing apparatus of the Soviet Union. And ultimately, uh, Stalin has Trotsky exiled. Um, in exile, Trotsky will be tried for allegedly conspiring to kill Stalin, and he will effectively be given a death sentence. Um, the NKVD, which is a precursor to the KGB, like, this, like, the, like the Soviet CIA, right? Intelligent, covert, global intelligent agency, um, secret police. Uh, the NKVD was given the task of, of basically tracking down Trotsky and killing him. And Trotsky escaped assassination um, uh, at, on at least one separate occasion. 
But ultimately, he was living in Mexico, and ultimately, um, in Mexico in 1940, Trotsky was tracked down and assassinated, murdered. Um, he was actually killed with, with an ice pick to the head, and it didn't kill him immediately. He struggled with the individual, and he, he only died uh, later after, um, after some loss of blood. Uh, the death was not instant, instantaneous, and Trotsky actually had things to say about his, uh, about his killer uh, before loss of blood effectively um, incapacitated him. So Trotsky, assassinated by the NKVD, or affiliates of the NKVD, in Mexico in 1940.